Workday's basic design philosophy is centered around um, a user experience that allows the user to come in, get the work done they need to get done in Workday, and get out. And that means that they can actually concentrate on the business of doing their own business. And whether that's making cell phones or making snack cakes, they're focused on that and not necessarily focused on um, the tasks that they were asked to do in Workday. So in the 1990s, as ERP was being developed, it was really focused on the back office user, um, large, heavy data transactions. And it really wasn't meant um, uh, by philosophy to go out to self-service. Self-service, manager self-service, employee self-service was really an extension of that back office out to the user base in order to try and distribute responsibility uh, for data management. So at Workday, it was early, very early on, it was recognized that simply extending or duplicating ERP in a different delivery model, software as a service, really wasn't going to work. Um, there were complex transactions within those systems that really needed to be simplified and brought to the fore um, for the majority of our user base. Um, if you look at our user base, about 5% of our user base is power users. Um, they're, in the, they're in and working in the system on a daily basis. They're there seven out of the eight hours a day. Um, the rest of the 95% of an employee base is in maybe for 15 to 30 minutes um, in a year. They're updating a life event, they're changing their address, um, and they're doing their benefits elections. Those people have to be able to get in, get the work done, and get out quickly. Workday just took a different approach. Um, we focused the experience on the user itself. And we didn't just focus on the power user in the back office. Um, we focused on every user. So whether that's casual user or manager user or a power user, um, Workday's interface is one and the same, um, and it's simple to use. Workday's employee self-service gets a tool out, gets an important tool out to the user base. They can then take over and update their own information um, in a simple-to-use interface that's built on web patterns that have developed over the last ten years. Um, things like buying books and um, finding vacation homes have taught people um, how, to, how to interact with the web and there's patterns that have come out of that. Those patterns then repeated in Workday make it a familiar and easy to use interface. We have learned so much about the fact that, that employee and manager self-service is extremely important to most modern businesses today. The ability for them to push out administrative tasks to employees to have them updating their personal information, managing their benefit elections, and changing a life event, having a baby, um, and being able to get that data and information into the system not only improves its accuracy, but it also takes tasks off of HR's hands. By allowing managers full access to employee data um, and reporting capabilities, we're empowering managers to make smart decisions. They're looking at data, they're making insightful decisions, and then they're taking action right from the data that they've got. By distributing solid manager self-service out to the organization, we're empowering managers at every level with timely, accurate data, um, basically creating a culture of insight um, and allowing them to take action on that insight right there in the same interface. No longer a big grid of information with tons of links and lots of data all over the place. Um, manager self-service is a focused experience now. So now when a directive comes from the top, um, for significant change throughout the organization, you're, you're tasking HR with managing and executing that change. Whether that be a reorganization, um, significant business process changes because of that reorganization, or getting the intelligence out of the results of that reorganization, um, that's now in the hands of HR and no longer in the hands of your IT department. So that leaves IT focused on, well, the business of your business, um, generating revenue, making systems more efficient, um, what they wanted to do to begin with. So by taking taking these uh, basic ideas and patterns that, that we've found have developed over the last 10 years and incorporating them into the way that we developed this, our business software, we've inherently made something that's a lot more usable. What does that mean for, for our customers and, and organizations? Um, it means that basically they're going to get a better return on their investment. And you say a better return on investment from a user experience. Well, if your software isn't being used, 
then you're not getting anything out of it. So by putting a, a system in place that the entire organization can use, from employee to CEO, we're really empowering the entire organization. Um, we're increasing data accuracy, we're increasing productivity, and that's all leading to a competitive edge that can't be matched. So when they do interact with the software, they get their job done and they get a job do done in a timely manner. Productivity goes up. When managers are making smarter, smarter, more agile decisions, productivity goes up. When the HR organization is able to affect change for itself, productivity goes up. When IT is refocused on the business of your business, revenue goes up.